Hello everyone, it is Pixquid huh? in a new video for you. In today's video, we will be unboxing the Splatoon Boy DX Edition Figma from Good Smile or Max Factory. I am very excited for making this unboxing yes. and review of the Inkling Figma today, and I love showing this video to all my loyal subscribers. This looks very interesting, as we can see in the back. I'm just reviewing the box right now. This set has the Inkling Boys from Splatoon 1 and 2, as we see here. We also have Judd and Little Judd, uh, which would be interesting. There's quite a few accessories for this, as we see on the back. You can put them in quite a few poses, they have quite a few face expressions, and some other things, which would be pretty neat to see. Different gear and Splatoon weapons. I love the box design for this, Just it's just all Splatoon themed, as we can see here. Uh, even like the plastic here. Is that's bait that's like printed on, which is super cool to see. Alright, let's get into this. I got my trusty Escapula. Escapula? That's how you say it, yeah. Oh damn it. <laughs> Don't do that. Away from you. Always away from you. This is a very unknown scripted video. I just want to do more unboxing since I really enjoy doing uh, Persona 5 Royal limited edition unboxing last year. Oh wow, look at the box, like, inside the box as well, I didn't even notice uh, Mecha Mart background with all the different items. That's like amazing. Yeah, look at that, wow. I'm just impressed from the box, honestly. Alright, on to the main part. The figmas. It's quite a few stuff to us. I've oh, got quite a few items there. So we got the uh, Inkling Boy from the first game, Splatoon One. Let me take all this off quickly. Here's Inkling Boy. And oh my god, there's so much articulation with all the joints and stuff. Um, where, do, where do we do start? Oh yes. Oh, let me do it. So England Boy here has you like your the iconic clothes we see from all the promotional Inkling Boy from the first game. <laughs> the Inkling Drip. Right here, guys. The Inkling Drip. All the work and like the paint, the paintwork for like this figure is like amazing to see as well. From the T-shirt here, let me focus on that. Kind of camera. There we go. From like even the small details, like the tag on the T-shirt, from the shoes as well, even like the face of the facial parts. Those eyes. Oh my god. Even they finish off with like a shiny blue to show you like, this is a inkling from the game really pushes this figure forward has two joints in both arms you can do even like oh even a small this is even a small joint in the hands oh oops. the head is 360 if you want to be that creepy with the inkling even the legs can be like poseable and that stuff which is amazing to see yeah it's Already, I'm very impressed how amazing this Inkling is, and the other variation of Inkling Boy from Splatoon 2, using the another, the other promotion design we saw from this game. What an amazing job they done. Even the ink tank is different, since Splatoon 2's ink tank is different as well. It's not working, guys. It's not focusing. Huh? Bruh. Like, there's definitely more detail in Splatoon 2, and you can just see here from the gloves imprints, even on the uh, harness for Link Tank. They even put back, like, a back print on the t shirt, which is accurate to the game. There's just so much detail to be found in, t in these figures. Next, we got Judd uh, from Splatoon 1 and 2. Again, even the detail on like this smaller thing in the set is amazing. You can see like 
you can feel when like see like the texture of like the fur from Judd being a cat of course. Baby Judd, little Judd. Once again, much detail just on even on this little one. The tail doesn't oh wait, well does the tail go up and down? Or well, like can You can't Oh you can, wow you can. Yes, you can even move the tail on little Judd, which is amazing. These inklings come with many different accessories. Such as the Sparscope, as we can see here. And it's very detailed. And it's very like similar to like the in-game one, which is amazing to see. Here's the Splash Shot from Splash 1. With its very bright yellow and blue colours. Very iconic. And then we got the design from Splash 2, which feels a bit more feels more Splash 2. If that makes sense. We got quite a few headgear accessories. We got other faces. A more like, ah, expression when the inklings are basically inked from the other opponents. Also got one for in Inkling Boy from Splatoon 2. We also got two like splat shoot effects, which goes on both splat shots for the blue ink, and this for the green ink. What amazes me a ton is that yeah, I get like this small white thing, which I was really unsure what this thing was for originally, but then I found out that you can use this to link it up inside like this, and then literally move the eyes around, which is like, i never seen this in the figure mode for, what the hell. Move the eye in any like degree angle you want. So that's, like we can make him look up to the, let's do it like the right, no left, this is the left. That's so good. You can also do this with the special ones inkling as well. After putting the figures into various poses, and this is how excellent these figures are, I originally thought the ink tanks could get in the way when posing the figures, but with the clever ball joints at the ink tanks, it was easy to move them. You can even remove the ink tank if you really want to. These figures are amazing from how the figure sculpture models were made specifically for this figma. Even the eye movement on the face is amazing. My only complaint is that the flags are stickers. I and most people dislike stickers, and how most of the parts of the set are all printed on makes me wish the flags were also printed on. Overall, this is an amazing Figma from its creativity and quality we can see from it. This has been Pixel Squid, thanks for watching. Also, subscribe.